Let us take a look at what is the security risk of whitelisting Python in your organization and remediations to reduce the cybersecurity risk. Whitelisting Python in a commercial environment can introduce certain security risks that you should consider. While Python is a powerful and popular programming language, allowing its unrestricted usage can expose your systems to potential vulnerabilities. Here are some security risks associated with whitelisting Python. Malicious code execution. Allowing Python without any restrictions may enable the execution of arbitrary code, including potentially malicious scripts. Attackers can exploit this to run unauthorized programs or execute code that compromises your systems. Code injection attacks. If user input is not properly validated and sanitized within Python scripts, it can lead to code injection attacks. Attackers may exploit this vulnerability to execute arbitrary commands or manipulate sensitive data. Dependency vulnerabilities. Python relies on various third-party libraries and packages, and these dependencies can introduce security risks. Whitelisting Python might not address vulnerabilities present in the libraries used by your code, potentially leaving your systems exposed to known security issues. Privilege escalation. Allowing unrestricted Python usage can lead to privilege escalation attacks. Malicious actors may exploit vulnerabilities in Python libraries or scripts to gain elevated privileges, enabling them to access sensitive resources or execute unauthorized actions. Exfiltration of sensitive data. Python scripts with unrestricted access may enable the exfiltration of sensitive data from your systems. Attackers can modify or introduce malicious code within Python scripts to collect and transmit confidential information without detection. Resource abuse. Unrestricted Python usage can result in resource abuse, such as excessive CPU or memory consumption. Malicious actors can intentionally write scripts that consume excessive resources, causing denial of service, DOS, conditions or degrading system performance. Mitigating the risks associated with whitelisting Python. To mitigate these security risks, consider the following measures. Code review and validation. Implement thorough code reviews to ensure that Python scripts meet security standards and follow best practices. Validate user input to prevent code injection attacks. Restrict and control access. Limit the execution of Python scripts to trusted and authorized individuals or systems. Apply appropriate access controls, such as user permissions and role-based access, to reduce the attack surface. Sandboxing and isolation. Run Python scripts within a sandboxed or isolated environment to limit their access to system resources. Employ containerization technologies or virtual environments to provide an additional layer of protection. Regularly update and patch. Keep Python and its associated libraries up to date to address any known vulnerabilities. Regularly apply patches and security updates to mitigate potential risks. Implement network security measures. Employ firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, IDS, IPS, and network segmentation to control the flow of Python traffic and detect suspicious activities. Security testing. Conduct regular security assessments, penetration testing, and vulnerability scanning on your Python codebase to identify and address potential weaknesses and vulnerabilities. By implementing these measures, you can minimize the security risks associated with whitelisting Python in a commercial environment and enhance the overall security posture of your systems. Hope you learned few things, subscribe, share, comment.